fakes, fakes, mm, copies and uh, replicas uh, you can find on like shows, on forums, on eBay. Uh, the point of this video was like showing uh, how collectors can help each other. Hello everybody, this is War Story Video Vlog. I am Alex and here we are in my Connecticut studio and I have great news for you guys and for me because when I have great news and great mood you guys can get cool videos. <laughs> Um, I finally received real ID, American real ID driver license. It was pretty complicated process for every foreigner. Uh, you have to go through like long way uh, to get real ID here in the United States. For Americans, it's like easy uh, way. You usually get it automatically because your parents like push you to the driver's school and um, then you just get it that's it but usually for foreigners uh, it's pretty complicated process because you have to get proper visa with a social security number option after that you have to get social security number after that you have to become um, state resident uh, being state resident uh, you can go to DMV and ask um, theory test and after that you receiving like learner's permit uh, which is not state ID. With this learner permit you have to uh, wait three more months to start uh, passing like driver's tests and uh, I did it like on the second time. First time I didn't pass um, driving test because it was like speeding two miles uh, more than I had to drive, so they <laughs> refused my uh, driver license. I had my driver license like 15 years without any accidents, but this driving test I uh, passed only on second time. Uh, so it was today. I really excited, and that's cool. Uh, I finally got this like real ID. I have no problems, it, and it's like first serious uh, document. Well, maybe second after social security here in United States. So. I'm proud myself. Um, with this video, I also proud myself that um, a friend of mine, a uh, collector from New York State, he uh, gave me these uh, four boxes. Like, honestly, like cases are mine, uh, but he gave all this stuff to me and I want to show it to you closer uh, with uh, nice close views and some of these items already um, has been already posted on the um, Wehrmacht Awards forum. Because on Wehrmacht Awards forum and uh, War Relics forum uh, there are a lot of really nice specialists in badges and medals, them in uh, headgear, in uh, edged weapons, so a bunch of high educated uh, people on, this, uh, on those two forums and uh, I always uh, really enjoy to see threads and I really appreciate uh, this guy who gave me uh, all these items, uh, he provided me some links with uh, badges that we gonna see uh, today. Uh, all these items are fakes. Fakes, fakes, mm, copies and uh, replicas. Some of these items like fakes and you can see it from the distance. Some of these items really like scary uh, pieces. Some of these items just um, regular stuff that specialists can see uh, from the big distance. But uh, some people who knew in this theme uh, cannot recognize uh, those items like not original and uh, sometimes they can get in trouble uh, buying this stuff as an original pieces. And um, a lot of these items, um, these kind of items, uh, you can find on like shows, on forums, on eBay, on everywhere. But you can be sure this is original if you just post it on, for example, on the forum or if you have dealer who can like guarantee um, originality of uh, 
products, badges and medals that he is uh, selling. So let's start to see and uh, let's start uh, watch this item. For example, this one, this is a cream shield um, and this cream shield is like simple copy and uh, it's like not a big deal for specialists uh, to see that this is uh, not original and you can see on the Wehrmacht Towers forum also uh, people agree with it and uh, there are like some guys who discuss about this item and one guy from Russia also recognize it for, as like not original item. So this one is close combat badge in silver and um, it's pretty nice uh, looking when you see it on the front side but back side like reverse is uh, like a key uh, as usual. You can also recognize this item not original from the front side but it's always uh, more complicated than just turn it around and uh, watch the back side because here on the back side you can see a few different details and uh, usually uh, you can see like um, wrong attachment um, you, you can see this like wrong color patina patina here on this uh, badge so back side is like key uh, with originality. Uh, this is like a second awarded like first uh, first class and uh, on the back side also we can see like poor quality uh, hookah touching and uh, also this plate is also uh, telling about this is not original. And basically it's two types of items uh, you can buy, you can see uh, stamped items or like casted items. And if you see the Mm, points of casting uh, on the uh, badge or cross this is a red flag this is a huge red flag uh, if uh, some part of it like has been casted uh, because uh, in German um, German medals and German uh, badges mostly has been like uh, stamped or like high pressure cast but it's also kind of stamped <laughs> you know what I mean so if you uh, see the like uh, poor casting most likely it's not original those two iron cross second class also not original uh, you can see it and um, usually people just don't think about it but all these badges it's not a, just a one piece of metal like a coin uh, this is a, like different details for example like uh, iron cross second class is a, like a, middle of it, uh, the bl black part, then uh, there's a frame and frame is like two sides and you can see uh, it connected on the like side uh, yeah and uh, also you can see like two uh, rings here uh, this is a connector and this is like a main ring so all these items should be uh, like exactly the same like uh, other one from uh, this particular uh, like hairstyler, like maker. So uh, this is very important uh, and uh, this is a key to recognize uh, for recognizing uh, items. Is it original or is it fake? And uh, here also we can see like bunch of fakes and uh, for example this is a like first um, First World War pilot and uh, we can see that Dave White has the same one but original and it costs like 12 or 10 or 12 thousand box but this one is not original and somebody can put it on market and it's like three thousand i just need money you know what i mean but sometimes people without any knowledge um wants to buy something really rare for really cheap and this is a straight way to get in trouble uh so this is a not original first world war uh pilot this is a not original absorber and this is not original uh paratrooper badge and uh, this paratrooper badge also has been like uh, discussed on Wehrmacht Awards forum it's like pretty clear about this one and uh, the key as usual is just turn it around and watch uh, on the back side so here uh, also several more items like general assault badge uh, you can turn it around and also you can see like wrong composition uh, on it it's like four rivets four rivets should uh, look another way one and pay attention on the uh, GFS uh, stamp on it and also two wounded badges and uh, this wounded badge is uh, like a gold one from the distance it looks nice but when you turn it around you also um, 
can see the difference. And uh, this one, this is a SA wound badge. Uh, this is a pretty rare, pretty scarce. Everybody wants it because it's like kind of impressive. Uh, it looks like a sport badge, but it's like taller and um, it has like special rune and uh, this is quite rare but anyway this one is not original also and uh, by the way about absorber it's also smaller because uh, when something is like has been casted it's it, it became smaller than it should be because we have to understand process i'll try to like explain it to produce the fake uh, you have to stamp it or like cast it if you want to stamp it it's like pretty expensive because you need like a lot of supply and you need a lot of uh, special material and you need a lot of special supply you need a lot of special like tools and it's very expensive uh, to cast it you just need to make casting form and cast it and that's it and it's not a too expensive and you also can use the same metal uh, they used before you just can take like old spoon or fork or something like that and do it but uh, also when you cast it uh, the form the badge became like smaller because when you do casting form you have to like kind of stamp it um, and it became smaller it's just a process after casting when you touch this item when you take it uh, you can feel it but from the distance and with the pictures it's pretty complicated because it's exactly the same when it cast it it's exactly the same leaves exactly the same shape uh, but the size is wrong in edged weapon them we can see the same stuff with for example postal daggers or with rlb daggers when uh, or with tino leader daggers uh, when they produce daggers but uh, they like casted details it looks the same but uh, sizes like smaller so in this case we can see like belt buckle couple cloth things and a uh, couple more like teenies um, or like pins with assess them assess them is very popular and a lot of fakes on this field we can see uh, on the market so you have to be sure in your um, knowledge or you have to trust your dealer and um, make or buy expertise uh, of those items you gonna buy because again all items you can check all items you can show to different like people and uh, all items you can recognize it's if it's not original um, just don't buy it if you're not sure don't buy it if uh, your dealer cannot like explain why uh, on his opinion this item is original ignore it uh, this is my policy and uh, everything <laughs> gonna be okay uh, if you follow it so this is uh, also nice case with uh, uh, actually case is really nice and uh, it, we produce in this we are producing this case uh, with a uh, uh, proper uh, museum glass uh, this is a german glass uh, and like russian wood so uh, this case uh, represents three sets but it's not actually sets because uh, this is assess skull and just a panzer skull uh, like a tank skull and uh, three uh, assess cockades it's also very popular theme and uh, for example assess cockade um, in nice condition like a pair cost more than four thousand bucks because this theme it was very uh, popular it was popular right after the war because this eagles is like first item uh, that has been like captured from that <laughs> has been liberated from uh, any assessment it was like this eagle you can see this picture um, captured assessment and uh, you can see visor cap still on him but uh, there is no insignia and this insignia already in someone's pocket uh, because it was very popular and uh, this is a, like a pr kind of proof that you beat somebody uh, badass and uh, just took his stuff your pocket you know uh, what i mean so uh, it was very popular trophies uh, so it was very popular since like 1944 after like d-day but here we cannot see any original items and it's also uh, not that complicated to say is it fake or is it original because every item should be stamped every item should have uh, proper maker marks and should have proper uh, like uh, pins um, and uh, there is a like really nice book about this uh, 
uh, this headgear insignia uh, with really nice author and uh, this book has been published in few languages so I have one copy and uh, this is really helpful but sometimes you can see all these kind of items uh, in relic condition and it's also really nice proof of originality if you can see on your collection something exactly the same that you can like find with metal detecting in uh, Ukraine, Russia or Eastern Europe, it's like a hundred percent guarantee of originality. So it's also really nice. Uh, the point of this video was like showing uh, how collectors can help each other. For example, uh, on Wehrmacht Awards or War Relic Forum. And uh, also I can show you that it's like uh, very easy to get in trouble um, with buying like cheap stuff from no-name dealers. But sometimes if dealer can explain you uh, and can show you with proofs that uh, his items are original, you'll be safe. You just have to ask him about like proofs of it and that's okay. If somebody uh, tell you like I'm 30 years in this time, don't ask me like silly and stupid question. Uh, if you don't want it, just don't buy it. Forget about this guy because it's like kind of uh, old school like stupid guys <laughs> who, who do it and uh, I don't uh, afraid to say it because it's like I hate that stuff because if you ask kindly and politely uh, proof of originality of that item you want to buy uh, every normal dealer will share that information with you so don't forget to do that and especially if you want to buy something from ebay or from like uh, from no-name people uh, you also can put items on forum or you can order expertise and uh, you'll be safe don't forget this option so i hope you like this video i hope you like uh, the showing of like bad material here and uh, if you like it press like and uh, text me because i want to receive like feedback uh, if you don't like don't forget text it also because for example for some people maybe it's like just useless but information or something like that let me know and i will know uh, your opinion about it and i'll appreciate it uh, thank you for watching this video until the end thank you guys for supporting me happy driver license day uh, me so thank you again and see you real soon.